Hey guys, this is Keith Sanbad from Gadget Park and today let's do the quick unboxing of the Lenovo K5. Let's get started. This is a review unit sent by Mr. Kumar Sharma. Thanks for sending it. Opening up the box, we are greeted with the K5 itself. Underneath, we have some paperwork and we get a screen protector as well. We get a battery which is 2750 mAh battery which is quite sufficient for a 5 inch device. We also get a micro USB to USB wire which is quite long. We also get a travel adapter which is rated at 5 volt at 1.5 amperes which is pretty decent. So that's the box contents. Let's now quickly look at the device. Coming to the physical overview of the phone. On the front we have a 5 megapixel front camera with a earpiece and a 5 inch 720 pixels HD screen and beneath that we have capacitive buttons which is not backlit. Moving on to the right side we have a volume control key and the power button. On the left side we have nothing. At the bottom we have a primary microphone. Moving on to the top of the device we have a 3.5mm headphone jack and a micro USB slot which is used for data transfer and charging. The back of the phone is made out of metal except the top and bottom part. The camera is a 13 megapixel camera with a LED flash. Beneath that you have a secondary noise cancellation microphone beneath which we get a Lenovo branding. Beneath you get a dual speakers which is Dolby Atmos certified and let's see price quoted on the box is Rs 6999. Now let's speak about the specs when the phone boots up. It has a Snapdragon 5 octa-core processor which I think is the only phone in India which has a 415 octa-core processor. It has 2GB RAM, 16GB ROM and 32GB expandable storage. It has a 5 inch 720 pixel HD display and a 13 and 5 megapixel camera. The battery is a 2750 milliamps battery and it supports dual sim 4G plus 4G. It has Android version 5.1.1 which is quite disappointing but okay considering the price point. It runs on a custom vibe UI and which is quite fluid considering my experiences with other Lenovo devices and it comes with a little bit of bloatware but which can be uninstalled so it's quite good. If you take a look at the software, the software is running on the 5.1.1 Android Lollipop and the storage available is 10.52 GB out of the 16 GB available. The RAM available out of the 2 GB is 1.3 GB which is pretty decent according to this device, this price point. So that's pretty much it for the quick unboxing. Thanks for watching. Please hit the like button if you liked it. For more such videos, please hit the red subscribe button. Comment your views and thoughts in the comment section and if you have any more doubts, please hit the comment section. Thanks for watching. This is Kirtan but signing off. Have a great day. Bye now.